Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to create an auto number field. So we are going to do this on the opportunity just as an example, but there are lots of different reasons why you'd want to use an auto number field. Um, the first thing that comes to the top of my head is if you have a company that has multiple um, orders with you and you want to track whichever number or what number order that is. Um, but here we're probably just going to do an opportunity number and have it be an auto number field. So we are going to go to setup, which you go to by clicking up here at the little gear icon, either set it, set up or edit object. Edit object is a little bit faster. Um, it takes you directly to the opportunity. You don't have to deal with going through the object manager. And once we are here on the object, we are going to go to fields and relationships. So let's go ahead and go to new. And from there, we're going to click auto number and then scroll up or down and click next. I'm going to remove this security alert. Um, and I'm going to go with opportunity number and display format. So that's going to show you like how it's going to look. So if you want it to be like one dash zero zero zero, then it can be. And I'm not sure if that's available, but we want to, let's see, let's have one be the starting number. Um, you can have it auto generate. So it, you don't have to do any backloading of data um, description for the back end and help text for the front end. And this can also be set as an external ID, which we'll go over in a different video. So let's click next. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna copy and paste their example. And you know what? I will generate it. So it'll generate for each opportunity. Let's go ahead and click next. All right, and this is the field level security. So this will show you who can see it and who can only read it. And it should generally, this type of field should only, should be read only. So let's go ahead and click next. And this is where it's going to add it to the page layouts. Um, it'll add it in a random spot. You don't necessarily get to choose. Um, but if you go to page layouts, that's right underneath here on the little side panel, then you will be able to change it. So let's go ahead and click save. And then it's just telling us, you know, it's going to take a few minutes to do the auto number generation for all of the records. Since our org is a trailhead org, we don't have very many records, so it doesn't take a lot of time. I'm going to go back to our record page and validate that we do have it on the page layout. So I'm refreshing the page. And let's see if I can find order number or opportunity number. So we do have A and it is 12. It's the 12th opportunity. There you go. That's how you create an, an auto number field within Salesforce. So be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel and helps me make more helpful videos like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.